Hello and welcome to Daily Red video. In this video, we are going to see the review of Keyboard Maestro software for Mac computers. So if you're a Mac user and like to do certain automations to save your time and effort, then this software could be the answer. So in this review, I like to cover three important things. Number one, who is it for? Number two, a quick walkthrough of how you can create macros or tasks with this software, how easy it is to do that. And finally, whether it is worth for the money that you're going to pay for this software or not. So these three simple things will help you to figure it out uh, in a short period of time. So I'll keep it as simple as possible. Number one, who is it for? Like if you're a regular, a casual Mac user who uses the browser, mostly the Safari or Google Chrome browser for your web surfing activities and to watch videos, to check emails with your mails app and do a few other tasks with your computer on your everyday usage, then this is not for you. And honestly, uh, from my observation for the past 24 plus hours, I've been spending with this utility and I find it, it is not suitable for people who are a casual computer users. If you are you know, above the beginner level and you are an intermediate level of computer user, you use several applications and you do certain tasks repeatedly and you want to save time and effort by you know, automating certain things by pressing less number of keystrokes on your keyboard, then this software is definitely for you. It is important to target right set of audience. I always do that with my software reviews. I just want to recommend it to the right set of audience. Personally, I feel that this is not fit for the casual users. They don't have to spend uh, the $36 price uh, that the software offers. Next, we will go to the workflow, like how to create a simple uh, macro or the task with the help of this application. So when you install this keyboard Mastro editor, on the first launch, you will see the welcome wizard where it will guide you like how to use this application uh, in a step-by-step -step manner. So when you tap on uh, start tutorial, uh, you'll be taken to the guide like how to create your first first macro. Simply select global macro group where uh, the functions will be global. It will be accessible from any applications across the Mac operating system. So that's what it actually means. So select the global macro group and then you can select the three basic tasks that they give or you can create a new macro. So there you can see I, I'm right now it is suggesting me to create uh, a new macro and I can assign you know certain trigger. So there are three simple things with this application. One is macro and the another one is trigger, which is also called as a hotkey. And then you will specify certain actions like what the number of actions it has to perform uh, when that macro gets executed, uh, when you press that particular hotkey. So here you can see I have configured the tab key for opening a certain file or a folder application. So if, I, if you have any frequently accessed folders, then you can configure it here. You can specify the location of the folder that needs to be opened opened when you press the tab key. It won't make sense if it opens when I press the tab key once. Uh, usually I don't press the tab key that easily uh, while writing the document maybe, but uh, it is not the right way to assign. So I have to configure it for uh, multiple key press, either for two times uh, when the tab key is pressed or three times the tab key is pressed. So that is the right way to configure uh, the particular hotkey. And uh, you can use the same key for multiple actions and only you will remember what that particular key is going to perform certain actions and you can reconfigure it. You can edit uh, those actions anytime you want. So here you can see from the demo, I have successfully created the first macro. And let's dive into you know some more simple macros that uh, the keyboard Mastro offers. So here the all macros tab will give you so many options that you can give it a try. And if you find any, any of them useful, you can uh, simply tap on it and click on it and you will see like how to execute this macro. So here from the clipboard specific actions, the clipboard filters are there and the global uh, macro group is where uh, we are going to see right now. So for open file and folder application, as you can see that it was the first macro that I have created. The next one is called quick macro. And uh, this is going to be a keystroke combination that I'm going to assign uh, to do certain tasks in a very simple manner, like the multiple keystrokes that I'm going to perform uh, to do a particular task is going to be combined into one simple key press. That is the interesting part. So as you can see that uh, the hotkey is uh, control one to trigger this particular uh, quick macro function like then it will begin to record the keystrokes that I'm pressing and then it will be saved as an action. I'm going to assign the back quote key. So once I have done it, I can give it a try here or I can simply trigger it with my uh, one of the notes application. So as you can see that I want to 
bold this particular letter on for example if it is a huge passage and i want to bold certain text or you know the entire line um, into the bold or to remove the bold format then we are going to do certain actions and record it as a particular macro so to trigger that as i have configured i need to press control one so here you will see the recording screen so whatever the keystrokes pressed right now will be recorder and here i'm going to select by shift command then uh, tap on the left arrow key so it will be selected and uh, command b to bold so this is the action i want to perform and once i have done you can see the red light is blinking which means it records all the keystrokes that is being pressed right now so i i have to complete it that's it so the keystroke has been recorded so right now i don't have to press shift command and then select all the text and command b all i have to do is just place the cursor before uh, in prefix to that particular text and then tap on the back quote symbol as you can see it's now bold and uh, it the text the complete text have been selected so if you if you want to remove that action you can simply press the back quote again because i have configured the macro hotkey to be uh, the back quote so i can do that again you know for multiple text and i don't have to press select all the text and i can don't have to do the same once again and again so instead of pressing multiple keys the task of you know uh, selecting the subheadings to certain format is pretty simple instead of bold you can apply certain colors you can uh, create you can record multiple macros and if you are working with a huge number of documents to do the same tasks again and again then this macro set will be definitely useful to you so that's how the recording macro feature actually works and for search the web i have configured it for google search engine so every time i want to search in google or duckduckgo.com or any other website i don't have have to you know open the safari browser or chrome browser and enter the website first and then i have to enter the search query all i have to do is i need to press this hotkey which is configured as control g it will open a spotlight similar to the spotlight like search feature uh, and there i have to enter daily tat that's it so there you can see the macro automatically opened the safari browser and it has brought uh, the google.com and the query is also entered and right now i'm in the search results page so multiple actions have been compressed into one so this is how you can actually save a ton of time you know with the help of macros and you know while automating certain tasks uh, with the help of this uh, keyboard master software there are plenty of other macros that users across the world have created actually curated and they have uploaded their macros for free in uh, uh, the keyboard master website the software community page itself so some of the page links i will provide it to you in the description description to make your um, you know the macro usage pretty easier you don't have to uh, create everything manually uh, but other than that like you can uh, use the gallery of macros that users have created and uh, after installing the app uh, the key keyboard master you can straight away download the macros from these links uh, whichever that you find interesting and will be useful to your everyday routine so here you can see the discussion uh, it shows the best examples of uh, keyboard master macros so they have explained the several tasks that it will perform and if you like to download it you can download it from uh, their collection examples of macro file and uh, it is more than a shortcut that's what i personally feel uh, it can help you to create your own shortcut and uh, shortcuts and and save a ton of time you know and effort that you put normally so windows resize is one of the must have for everyone like if you work with multiple windows on your macbook pro with that limited 13 inch screen space and you want to split everything resize everything into proportion in certain order then uh, the window resize will be very useful here you can download the macro and you can uh, straight away you can export the macros that is important thing i forgot to mention so uh, here you can see i have downloaded the macro simply double click on it as you can see the, all the macros have been right now imported the move windows macro has been imported so for each there is a separate key right arrow is pressed this particular macro will be triggered uh, when i want to move up the window simply the up arrow so all of a sudden you are you have become a power user you know with the simple download of macro you don't have to spend several hours you know in order to learn this you will just learn it 
as you go like as you use the software uh, continuously so simply for within 20 to 30 minutes i was able to create my first macro and i was able to understand like how the macro functions how it actually gets triggered and how to create new macros with multiple actions so all these things have been uh, very easy and it was like you know literally a spoon feeding sort of thing uh, to make us understand and use the software and definitely the community contribution is very important for that all right to conclude whether uh, this software is worth for the 36 dollars or not so uh, you, they do provide the free trial version uh, which you can give it a try and if you like it if you find it useful uh, if you're finding it like it works as it promises and you're saving ton of time and you like using your keyboard shortcuts with the help of this automation software then you can consider purchasing it for 36 dollars so as i said in the beginning of this video this is not for casual users it is perfectly meant for uh, power users or people who want to become a power user so to to save time and to reduce the effort they normally put while editing documents working with word processing uh, spreadsheets and you know several other applications so they have a one-time purchase license uh, which will provide you the current version uh, for 36 dollars and if you are planning to upgrade to the future version like after two years because the one-time license brings you uh, the next year license also free the next year version also free uh, because you will stay with the current version uh, normally when you purchase the one-time license and your updates will not be guaranteed the next year will be absolutely free for you so totally you're buying the license of the software with the next year update which will go which is going to bring tons and tons of macros and bug fixes and performance improvements additionally to your uh, keyboard master application for free if you're planning to purchase after that second year you need to pay $25. So you have to decide based on that. For me, I personally think the $36 for two years licensing is absolutely worth considering the time it is going to save to me. And I don't have to keep on staring at my screen and keep on pressing the mouse uh, clicks and uh, the, so many keys on the keyboard. I'm going to finish my work a little bit earlier than before. So considering that, I'm sure that this software is definitely worth for $36. You have to decide right now uh, based on the highlights that I have given to you and the final decision is totally up to you. Do feel free to share this video with your friends and followers at Twitter and Facebook if you find it useful or you want to recommend this beautiful, uh, powerful software for your friends who are using Mac computers. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tips, tutorials related to Apple products exclusively. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.